EZEDA is the complete solution for you to develop any type of electronic prototype. Today, in addition to developing the electronic structure, you are also able to build the 3D enclosure to store and protect your electronic circuit. With a few clicks in the environment you can purchase the circuit board, electronic components, and 3D printing enclosure to store your project. This is all possible through EZEDA Pro which allows you to build your electronic prototype in one place. Today we're going to use it to build the housing for an electronics project. First, go to the EZEDA Pro website, log in and start designing your PCB layout. After drawing the PCB layout, let's start creating our 3D housing. In the design environment we have several layers of electronic board and circuit housing design. The three working layers for the carcass are the outline layer, top layer, and bottom layer. To start, let's create the body shape of our enclosure. To do so, access the place, 3D shell, outline menu. It has three options, rectangle, circle, and polygon. Rectangle allows you to create a rectangular shaped enclosure, circle allows us to create a circular shaped body and polygon is used to freely create any shape for the body of your 3D enclosure. In this project we will use the rectangular format for our enclosure. Select the option and draw the rectangle next to the outline of your electronic board. To preview the result, click View, 3D Shell Preview. Now the next step is to click on the 3D Shell Outline outline and check the main parameters to adjust your enclosure. Type, Upper and Lower Shell, Push Cover. EZEDA Pro provides two housing types, and temporarily only the rectangular housing frame supports push to cover. Layer, like other lines, you can switch to other layers. After the layer is switched, the type will change accordingly. Overall height of shell, the overall height of the enclosure. For example, the height of the combined upper and lower shells. CB height from the bottom surface of shell. The height from the PCB board to the bottom casing surface is used to determine the flying height of the PCB. Height of lower shell, the height of the lower shell. The height of the upper shell is automatically calculated based on the overall height. Shell thickness is the wall thickness of the enclosure. We must always use a value greater than or equal to 1.5 mm. These are the main parameters for configuring the housing body. After creating the housing body and configuring the main parameters, we will insert support bases with holes for fixing the electronic board. For this, you will use the 3D shell tool, screw pillar. The screw pillars will be elements used to fix the plate with screws to the structure of the box. We must add pillar screws in each hole of our electronic board. Then we must make adjustments to the configuration parameters. To facilitate the handling of screw pillars objects, we are going to disable the top, bottom, and multi-layer layers. Then click on one of the screw pillar objects and see all the configuration parameters. Let's configure the diameter of the screw. There are several diameters available. The PCB holes are 3 mm, so we will use an M3 screw. Layer represents the location of the screw pillar. 3D shell top layer places the screw pillar on the lid and 3D shell bottom layer places it on the bottom. Height is used to determine the height of the screw pillar, hole diameter is the diameter of the hole and thickness is the thickness value. Stiffener is used to create a reinforcement in the abutment screw structure. In this project we will not be using it. Therefore, select option no. Counterbore is used for fixing allen head screws. Now, Enable all layers of the electronics board and let's preview the result of creating the screw pillars in 3D shell preview option. Now you can see the four screw pillars in the lower part of the project housing. In the next video we will finish this project and you will make the positioning of the PCB in the region of the screw pillars, cuts in the structure of the case for access to the connectors of the PCB, and the process of buying its 3D housing in the JLC 3D.